What's going on, everyone? Jerem here from The Quartering, and it would appear that the Beanie Compound is under attack pretty regularly now. Not only do we have a second swatting incident, but a bizarre man uh, walked into the door, waited for the uh, correct opportunity, and essentially just walked right into his house. It's really quite insane. And, you know, I've obviously... There are things that Tim have said that I agree with, thing, things that he said that I disagree with, but I still consider us peers, obviously, and um, you know we share a huge amount of audience. And I don't, and I want him to be okay, and I want the staff at his house to be okay. Um, this is not okay in any way, shape, or form. And before getting into the whole story, not a sponsor, just uh, one quick request: if you're watching this video on YouTube. Or anywhere else, Odyssey, BitChute, Rumble. There's a button right below the video that says subscribe. YouTube definitely does not serve up my videos in search. And I'm pushing hard. It seems to be making a difference to uh, ask people. I know sometimes you have to create an account, which is a pain. But please do consider subscribing today. I would really appreciate it. I'm about to catch Tim Pool. It'd be nice to pass him on a video about Tim Pool. Wouldn't that be fun? Now... Tim Pool gets swatted again during TimCast IRL. Uh, please don't be by that grifter. Okay, it's not. Okay, Angelo. Now, podcaster Tim Pool has been swatted for the second time this month. This news comes after a series of concerning events around Tim Pool's studio. Pool disclosed that the incident was, quote, worse than the previous time. Pool yet has not given any details because of an ongoing security risk. He said that he intends to update security to an extreme degree. Well, I would argue that, uh, you know, I've been there a couple of times. Certainly uh, a gate uh, on the driveway <clears throat> would make sense at this point because weirdos are just walking into his house and, um, you know, cops are, you know, if you have a gate there, they can't get past that gate. Probably will help diffuse a lot of situations. Pool disclosed. So... People are going to get nuts in 2022. What the F were we talking about that warranted trying to get us ended on more than one occasion? He's not wrong. I've been through these type of situations. That's why, you know, I call my local PD every couple of months. Just remind them, hey, there are weirdos out there. You know, if you get a call, here's my cell phone number. Call me ahead of time. And it's actually happened more than once. And... Tim really needs to do that, apparently, or I assume he has by now. Earlier this month, he was swatted during a live broadcast of Tim Cast IRL. Um, you saw the cops walk in and everything like that. Um, police were told not to enter without warrants, but said they didn't need one due to exigent circumstances. That seems really odd to me. Um, this is a large house. Uses a production studio with many employees on site. Pool added, since the first incident, the police have no made no arrests. I really hope that they do arrest this person and charge him to the full extent of the law and, and they rot in jail. I I know my opinion is strong on this, but it's going to get somebody killed. It's happened multiple times in history. It's not okay. It's not funny. It's not a meme. It's dumb. Earlier on Tuesday, Poole revealed another concerning incident in his studio. According to Poole, an unknown man entered his studio. Last night, a man trespassed on our property, bypassing a large warning sign, then entered our house, Poole said. He entered just after four guests came in, confusing the staff. Anyone entering this way risks serious bodily harm from our dogs and security. He was promptly removed. There was no security when I went there, but that was a long time ago. I assume he has some now. Um, there are a lot of people in the house at all times. There's a lot of foot traffic coming in and out. This is probably something Tim has to tighten up because the incident was actually really bizarre. Um, if you want to be extremely charitable, this person thought it was, and I'm going to show you the video. This person thought it was like a business and he could just walk in. Um, if you want to be more evil and nefarious, like I know we all like to be, this person waited till the exact right moment when four other people walked at the door to pull up and uh, walk in the door right behind them. Where, was he following them? He obviously knows the show. 
he found Tim's address th- using nefarious, re- you know, certainly this address is not something Tim wants public. I know it's out there, but you have to go looking into the seedy parts of the internet, you know, this kind of stuff. And don't do that, by the way. Um, so this guy did some weird research, found his house, felt like showing up. He said, oh, I'd emailed you guys, blah, 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 blah. He also says, we will prosecute to the fullest extent, considering the warning signs do not come here without permission. He continued, in order to get anywhere near our property, you have to drive about an acre. He's seen on camera entering the house after without permission. I'm going to show you some of the footage here. Um, yes, it is a very, very long driveway. And um, you're not, uh, you, it's not like you just pop in. So they're filming, and then there's this guy just in the house. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Hey, who are you here with? Myself. Okay. Uh, what for? Because I'm running for Congress. Hmm? I'm running for Congress in the 2nd District in West Virginia. I've been trying to email you guys. But you- so you feel like you could just enter their home? You can't just walk into the house. But I know I knocked, obviously. Oh, I knocked. Knock, knock. Open door. See, I didn't just who, walk who let, in. Who let you in? Well, I waved to this guy. He just said, yeah. oh, I yeah, thought you were with Entourage. I should leave my name and number. Yeah. Okay, so he looks like maybe that other guy waved him in. The reason he waved him in is because there were uh, the other guests. He thought he was part of the guests. He showed up at the exact same time as a bunch of other people. Yeah, it's pretty busy here right now. Okay, can, can I just leave you guys my name and number? Yeah, you like what a card is, or something? What is he doing? Working on this? Did he break the chair? Sure, I don't have a card. Oh, I don't have a card. I didn't mean to break your chair right there. I was just going to leave my name and number right here. Yeah. Cool. By the way, he shows this to the camera, and then they still put it in the podcast, or in the video. That seemed odd to me. So, you're essentially rewarding this guy's behavior. Now, I I generally try to lean towards the good in people. And he probably thought, hey, this is just a, a business. I can walk in. He's, you know, he doesn't, obviously he doesn't seem aggressive. And, um, you know, we know who this guy is. His name is Craig X Rubin. He was on a, a show, a couple of shows about Herb. He's actually a Hollywood actor with a significant amount of knowledge of the the uh, jazz cabbage. Maybe he was partaking, and he thought it was a good idea to walk into Tim Pool's house. Here's his website. Doesn't seem, doesn't seem uh, very updated. He wants to end the herb prohibition, support fair money, and abolish the IRS. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. The, the blog that he's got on this site is very old. Yeah, it hasn't been updated since November last year. So is he really running for Congress? Is he just a wacky wackadoodle? This is the thing, though. Uh, you see Tim very angry about it, saying this. We we have security. We're getting even more security. And, uh, yeah, uh, a, a lot of people, based on, like, the vlog and other things that have happened, have been like, why don't you have security? It's like, we do. But what you need to understand is that I guess we're getting to the point where I didn't think we needed, like, armed guards standing checkpoint in our acre-long driveway and things like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I learned that with think, mines. Just really quickly. Why do you think I was trying to set up a fight club inside of the Vini <laughs> Castle? I don't want security. No security. We teach everyone jujitsu. We're going to have a jujitsu class. Now, the I understand. Like, he's Tim is just, like, a dude, right? Um he doesn't probably always think like he's running a huge corporation. You go to his house, it's super casual. There's like people everywhere. Um, what he really, <clears throat> what he really needs to probably do is have um, everyone at all times wearing uh, lanyard badges. 
Um, so you know who's an employee, who's not. He clearly doesn't have security, Tim. I mean, come on, bro. This guy just walked right into your house, and who knows how long he was in there, by the way, because um, whoever you know had time to grab a camera, and uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, some people are even saying this is a setup. Uh, I don't think Tim would ever do that, um, but there's no security. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I uh, unless they left for the night at the most important time of the night, <clears throat> but. That's either here nor there. Um, you know, it's it's pretty nuts. Um, and this guy, who I'm going to guess is just a guy, not like a crazy person, he could have lost his life. Especially with everything going on. They had just been swatted. And then this guy walks into the house. What if it was the guy who was doing it and he was there to settle a score or something? I would assume, I don't know the laws where he lives, but where I live, you would have been completely justified giving this guy a four or five piece lead injection because he was trying to get out of the show. Okay, that's looking at it charitably, and that's how I am looking at it, but it could have been way worse. Tim probably, unfortunately, now is going to have to spend security is not cheap. You know, ever since, you know, that lunatic. Uh, <laughs> Well, <clears throat> ever since the incident that I had many years ago, now when I travel, I have security. Uh, unless I'm with somebody that like I know and you know what I mean. And it's expensive. Very expensive. Um, and he's going to have to probably pay for that or relocate, which he's not going to do. Um, you know, he's going to have to get a security gate up. He's definitely going to have to get... Um, you know, and by the way, the door, this is how the door was when I showed up, too. You can't have that. Door's got to be closed and locked. Probably, uh, he probably should install, like, those key card, the, are they RF? You know what I mean? Like, we all have them for our jobs. We, boop, boop, you know, unlock the door. He's going to need to install that, for sure. Uh, can't just have people walking in your house. Can't do it. Got to have cameras out there. Going to have to invest some money in security, because clearly you already have one lunatic, um... Uh, being uh, a, an insane person. And now you have people just walking into the house. Uh, that guy could have been, it could have gone way worse. Uh, I uh, I pull, I want everyone and, and Tim's company to be safe. And I know, I know Tim will take the necessary steps to do so. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.